proper store is supposed to start at the beginning. Ain't so simple with this one. Now here's a kid whose whole world got all twisted, leaving him stranded on a rock in the sky. He gets up, sets off for the bastion, where everyone agreed to go in case of trouble. Ground forms up under his feet as it pointing away. He don't stop to wonder why. Finds his lifelong friend just lying in the road. Well, it's a touching reunion. What's the deal with this one box in particular? Oh, there it goes. He sees what's left of the rippling walls. Years of work undone in an instant. In the calamity. That's odd. survivor. No, ma'am. It's a gas fella, forced out from underground. Kid pops him good. Starts to feel his bruises, though. Why am I losing health, though? I didn't take any damage. Spin up the chamber. Alright, yeah, I forgot how neat the control scheme is in this game. Kids worked up quite a thirst by now, so that fountain looks real inviting. Sometimes you just need a drink. Yeah, it's simple, but it's like. Squirts tunnels up around them. Must have fled here from the mines. Sets foot inside one of Selandia's famous watering holes. Inside's old Rondi, the bartender. The calamity got him before his drinking did. <laughs> then Kid finds his trusty shield.
Okay. He gets a good look at things on his way down. He lands on top of a breaker's bow, and it ain't broke. There must be an extra bit of narration here if I just don't get up. I wonder how long it takes to kick in. Maybe that was back in the beginning. Kid Spy is a good perch for some target practice. He knows he should draw the string all the way back. Gotcha. Good news is the emergency defenses still work. Bad news is they aim it for the kid. Spirits in that distillery, and the kid'll feel like a new man. Dredge room. I like how the music is kind of muffled when you're inside the building. I really thought of everything in this game. The arsenal's where the kid can pick the best tools for the job. Some of them squirts 
birthing like crazy. A couple of corn bins. Okay. on melee too, they just kind of, if you shield right when they hit you, they just kind of die. Something that kid takes a chunk of alloy. Smell of barley and spoiled blueberries fills the air. Scumbags. Kid maybe shouldn't have done what he just did. Oh, I can deflect those. Oh shit. Counting out bits of the stage. So tiny, why is it so alive? <laughs> so much of this arena destroyed that you actually can't get out once you're done. Because you got pretty close.
Now the kid sees something stranger still. His mind races. Did anybody else survive? Sure enough, he finds another. He finds me. We talk for a spell. Weren't these only meant to be for uniform and identification? There's a bit of the Bastion's power in that crest. Enough to point the way to the cores. It feels warm to the touch and hums like a motor. What exactly does it do? All I tell him is to set that core his on the monument there. Then watch. Okay. And just like that, the Bastion comes alive. Starts growing again, growing stronger. Kid's gotta put its power to good use. Now the Bastion can send him even farther into the wild unknown. Kid ponders what to build. I think I only have one building slot available. The Bastion ain't gonna build itself. Well, not entirely. Here's your Bastion to play some peace, but we can hold our own if we have to. Game's good. It's a good game. The Skyway. Now the kid can ride the wind the distant lands. Okay. Wharf District is where I started. Breaker Barracks. Many straight shooters learn their way here. The Wharf District. Folks sail deep into the boundless sea from here. The Bastion. Ceylandia's safe haven. Once the highest point in the city. Too bad it wasn't finished before the calamity struck. The Workman Ward. Them windbags used to keep the city humming along here. Now he lands at the intersection between bad and wrong. 
ought to be a core down one of these twisted streets. But which one? He heads for the squirt steps. Won't be no field trip this time. something for trouble. Them squirts just don't know when to quit. Some scumbag still feeding off the city's own trash. And there he is. The oldest scumbag of them all. Oh boy, this is already pretty hectic. Okay, at least there's infighting. The calamity ain't done much for Herschel's sunny disposition. Shoot. Oh, come on. Did you with the OTG? They always said old Gershaw wouldn't go without a fight. Oh, that's mine. No core. No surprise. Like the gas fellas are hiding it from. The rest of the path is gone for good. City crest won't break it back. I'm gonna get a hang of the timing for the power drop to be ready for The window's not too small. But it's easy to... Sheesh. Oh my god. Shoot, I didn't actually want to pick up the tonic. Oh. Good. It's easy to uh, want to throw it too fast when you're under attack. I need to shield off again. for the east side, where windbags used to keep the local forge. Uh, Odd place to find the likes of Percy the Snitch. Ow. 
never much cared for that big wide grin here. Uh. That was weird. Somehow that old forge is still standing. with the machete for now. Have enough. Let me see. 325. I don't think I have enough to upgrade like this. And. Oh, 250. Well, I could still do both if I did the first tier of each one. See what they are. An unsettling sawtooth blade built for destruction. Oh, okay, I have to go in order. The little Zolwood oil on that blade shines like a light. Still can't get it yet. Kids lifelong friends looking fit oh. to keep on fighting. You can switch upgrades. Obviously, I need that. <laughs> Core ain't here neither. So he's got to guess again. <laughs> oh, he seems to be in the last place alone. Fellas all dress alike. Kids wondering the same thing. Just an upgrade material, I guess. Place grown, but it's too tough to fall. 
kid's ready to go, and his ticket out's right where he started. He comes back, just like I knew he would. The core hums in his pack. The monument's calling for it. Oh. Why are they flooding the city, ransacking its remains? The windbags used to be alright. Then the calamity took the floor out from under him. Does this count as a can you pet the dog? You can pet the squirt in Bastion. It's not really clear. It doesn't really read as petting. But I think that's supposed to be the idea. Oh, I don't have fun for the machete. used to come here for target practice. We used to play a little game. See who could bust the most targets in the fewest shots. He's armed, and he's off. A perfect shot just happens in a flash. Dude. Probably do better. Five or fewer, yeah. I just messed up the one power shot, or I would have had it. Something fancy. He returns with some of the materials we need. Wait, I want to go back out. Kid ain't had enough of the Breaker's barracks. It's 
Start over. <laughs> Damn it. Beginner's luck, I guess. I gotta actually wait to visually see the flash, cause, uh, cause I can just react to it. Rather than having to... really get a feel for the timing. Yeah, it takes longer to get there than I think it does. And let's not screw up the last one. Oh, that's the restart button. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. I almost don't believe it when he says he passed the breaker's challenge. Oh, he's not other oh, Ain't always much to say. Whatever this is, I don't actually have it yet. And I don't have enough fragments to upgrade it anyway. I hate how... I hate how this kind of looks like a verb. Press E to squirt. Uh, no thanks. The sundown path. Lovely place for a stroll. Before the calamity, that is. used to walk the sundown path. Kid ain't here for pleasure, though. But then, somebody gets to the core before the kid. The floor starts giving way on the lightest step. A single panic squirt can bring the whole place down. So can a reckless kid for that matter. Fragments of the old world. Yep, I missed sky. one fragment. Stray valuables are lying everywhere. The kid thinks twice about risking his eye for them. Well, the path ain't exactly on the visitors only. Do I actually have to fight them now? Shoot. Uh. Quick and careful is the only way to go. Um. Game? Help? Get a 
alone. Air travel always was an iffy proposition. Changed everything, even where the wind blows. Well, I won, but what cost? Yeah, the window is shorter for the machete throw than it is for the bow, I think. Or at least it gets there faster. Well, if we mastered the winds in the old days, we can do it again. But the question is... The question is... Who else could have taken the core? Power shot is actually kind of hard to land. Well, well, ain't no survivor stole the thing. Why did they block under the box? Pretty good. Things plenty far away. I can't even see that thing. It's behind the pillar. Even gas fellas need some shut eye from time to time. They get a real cranky. survive the calamity. So he didn't find the core that time, but that ain't about to stop us. Me say what? 
Oh, jeez. It's a shame I don't have upgraded materials for other stuff that I have yet. Length of me's gut. That bow's like new again. Oh, I only had one material. Well, I guess I should use the bow since I don't have any upgrades on the computer. I feel like nobody sticks with the hammer in this game for very long. I feel bad, but yeah, I think I will keep the hand grenade actually. A bow and a machete. Every bit as effective as the fancier stuff. Huh? Oh, the rifle. I don't even have the rifle yet. Did I? I didn't miss it, did I? Well, I can't return to any of the previous stages, so... Maybe it's at this one. The melting pot. Place hoarded all sorts of fineries from beyond the boundless sea. You would think the rifle proving ground would only become available after you actually get the rifle. What do I do? In better days, the melting pot was sealed tighter than the skin on a squirt. Gross. <laughs> yeah, the power shot on the boat takes a long dang time. Of all the plans to survive the calamity, it had to be stab weeds. Blasted things hurt like a broken heart. Now you tell me. Oh, there's the repeater. Oh, great material, right? So, okay. That's what was confusing me. It, when it gets that little daze animation from you blocking it, it can still attack. I, uh... That wasn't gonna be my first guess. It feels longer for the bow. I might be imagining things up. It cuts down every stab weed like there's gotta be a prize for it. Yeah, you don't know. Maybe there will be. Sure there's an achievement. If there's a core, he figures it ought to be deeper down. Alright, I'm going. Oh boy. I'm gonna make him clear all this stuff out. Core stuck inside one of those fancy cages. At least I brought the right tool to the job. Stuff lying around is downright dangerous. He throws a switch. Now, what could possibly go wrong? Quite a bit, as it turns out. The cage starts lifting from the core ever so slow. All kid can do is wait. Shipments start falling in. Not every score is born bad. Some spring to the kids' defense. Judging by the movement. 
out of the cage. It's gonna take a little while. Okay, I can still penetrate without getting the power shot at this. Oh yeah. Scumbags don't take kindly to each of the Even some gas for us take his corner. Heard it pop that mean old form. At this rate, maybe five more minutes. Maybe thirty. Mark the ten. Squirts get real territorial around. Ever just whiff the power shot? Then a ship and a free sample shows up. So much stuff. It's a troublesome scene. Can I chew? Okay. It's actually not a bad use for the trip lines. Oh, come on! What did it lock onto? Not a damn thing. Moments left. Core goes free. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. You give or take a few percent. Five. Core's within reach. Ten. It's switched Go. at the last moment. Seven. Three. There's no, there's no wind up to that. Jeez. It ain't all bad, as a kid finds some spices from the motherland, tax free. Got it. Well, they made work for that one. Here's Barge. with me, buddy. I still remember the look on his face after that one. The old world's finished, but the new world's just getting started. Where did they come from? Where did they go? And when? Folks voyaged across the boundless sea to found Ceylandia. It was good living here for a while. <laughs> okay, I can upgrade the repeater, and I think I might actually switch back to that. Hmm. Bigger clip or faster reload? Those old bones still have some spark in them. Right, 
time we built something new. Oh. Makes time to sample spirits from my personal supply. be trusted to use my shield more often. This might be useful. Brick style sure goes down smooth, then stays in your gut like a rock. I still don't have the rifle. Oh, or is this for the repeater? This might be good for the repeater, actually. Let's just let me just look at this one. Yes. <laughs> No place better than Trapper Shingle for learning to tread light and shoot straight. Trappers had to tread real carefully, or else take a nasty fall. They train themselves by clearing out the targets while not clearing out the floor. Any good trapper knows never to take a step till the time is right. to keep working his aim and footwork on the shingle. Best time to pick a new spot was when swapping magazines. Yeah. There. Do I have to get them all? How much is first prize, man? 64. Yeah, that's probably all of them. Oh, something crazy. This one's hard. Oh, 
That is tough, man. Gotta figure out what I should be doing differently. Trappers would have been impressed with how the kid handled the shingle. It wasn't that actu actually all that easy. Okay, cool. So what else we got? I think this would do well paired with the increased magazine. Uh, but I think I'll just take the extra damage that ought to make there. those fangs sink in nice and deep. Uh, okay, the machete. That's Windbag Ranch. Perfect place to work a blade if you got the stomach for it. Windbag Ranch was built for gathering squirt extract and copious supply. Ain't nothing more healthful. Oh, shoot. Slippery little devils. Folks showed up to make a fast buck with nothing but a knife. I don't have my shield here. Other folks came to train their throwing arms. What? Hey, bro. Use the place to test their finest blades. Uh, I wish they were so. It's just missing. I can't even hit these things reliably. I'll be amazed if I get any prize at all for this one. Let's try that again. 
Always the time for juicy squirts, they used to say. I thought I should go for the spawners first, but I might need to make sure to get them while they're more grouped together. At least the little fellas can't feel a thing. Some squirts try to be on it. Best to put them away first before they rile up the others. Under 60 seconds. Oh my gosh, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get it. The ranch was always looking for good help. Yeah, I think I need to focus on the ones that just start going away, because the rest of them are going to follow me. Yeah, at least they're like, color-coded differently. What? That wasn't the power shot? Uh. All right, I already whipped the under a minute, so let's just start over. There's always more squirts to go around. Yeah. 
awful slick sometimes. Mm. Yeah. There must be something I'm missing here. How does that manage not to hit anything? Strategy here, I wonder. I feel like I really need to track down the ones that just run around before they get too far, but they're already too far. <laughs> There's so many of them. I definitely don't want to go for the turrets until the end, probably, because the scores just get in the way. They just walk off the end of the map.
seems like all the ones that come out of the spawners are the ones that follow you around. So... It really just seems necessary to get rid of all the runners. Immediately, but... Invariably, a bunch of them are still going to get away. Okay. Come on. I can't hit it, it's too far away, dude! Come on! That's so lame! What? Okay, I got the right idea, though. I'm just really reliant on them not deciding to... wander off somewhere where I can't reach them. Realm, I can get more critical hits when I start off, but I immediately start taking damage. And if I avoid taking damage, then I deal less damage. And I need to just be immediately hitting them all as soon as they come out. I really need them to die in one hit. Uh. Yeah. Shoot. 
started wondering if maybe the ones that were shot up by the spawners didn't actually count toward the goal, but they sure do. Machete is so unreliable. Come on, man. That was close, too. There's definitely a, an element of randomness to this. need to not let any of them get away, but it seems impossible. The fact that they can get that far away is really troubling. You can throw the machete, but it doesn't reliably hit them from that far away. I guess I just need to free aim at that point and try to lead the shot. Ha <laughs> ha 
Oh my god, it wouldn't lock onto the freaking turret, and I thought I was gonna whiff it at the last moment. Ghostblade. Whiff. Alright, let's go see what Ghostblade is. Well, the kid's gone and struck terror in the hearts of squirts everywhere. <laughs> really machete. Just see, just see how it performs. Yeah, it did look great for the machete. Yeah, let's build critical hits, I think. That sounds fun. War machetes are so quick, you gotta keep a good grip on them. Sometimes a single look says it all. Good. The hanging gardens. Folks used to go here to relax from their relaxing. Faces all around. You don't much care to see him. Not like this. These folks never saw the calamity coming, but someone did. Someone close. Dorel of Krypton? It was someone like him. Kid sees him there again, in the flesh. It's a snag or two trying to get to him. Let me just back off, actually. He ain't about to stop, no matter what. He's got so many questions, after all. Oh, shit. Just ain't got time for answers. The Tundra Brothers didn't make it. They never saw what it was like beyond the walls. Nor did the Bird Boy didn't make it. The 
Jawsons. They didn't make it. Grady Sr., Grady Jr., they didn't make it. But him, he survived. Kid finds proof enough that man ain't from around here. survived as well. Kid does what he has to do. What do you say to a man who's seen too much? Kid hasn't a clue, but he says this. We have to go. Please. He's a proper gentleman, that man. His name is Zolf. No hiding, he's an Ura. Folks like him ain't never been a common sight in Ceylandia. He's relieved to see a living face or two. The kid and I introduce ourselves in kind. Both to him and to each other for the first time. For Zolf, Ceylandia was like a second home. He's real worried about his first home too, far to the east. He was born in the Tazel Terminals. The Ura sent him on a mission of peace to our city, and he's lived here ever since. We fought the Ura decades ago, but that was then. Things are different between us now. The cores, they remember. That's why this place is coming together. That's why things are gonna be all right. Well, look what we have here. takes fragments of the old world and makes them whole again. I did forget to use the cinder bricks out. If you're feeling low, right. count on the buttery flavor of our own bastion bourbon. We tracked down a couple more cores near the edge of the city.
think I'll save the rest for another time. I'll just leave the kid lying there for now. Well, if anyone is out there, thanks for tuning in. Not sure if I'll be coming back to this tomorrow, maybe Sunday or Monday. We'll see. Good night, folks.